Water is essential to good health. We know. But the question is, are you taking enough? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I did a little experiment with my patient in the last two weeks and found out something very interesting. Something like what? 80% of people watching me right now as I speak are not taking enough water per day. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> a typical adult needs at least 3 liters of water each day as maintenance. And you know, that's the minimum that your body requires to keep it in a normal function. Maintenance means that's how much you should lose normally like that should leave your body normally each day through your sweat your urine your feces and through your breath which is expected to be replenished by your water intake ah, are you advising me or you are telling me something you know if we say three liters is maintenance requirement per day it simply means that you should take more than that each day but do you know what i found out I found out that a lot of people are not even taking up to that minimum requirement per day and that is very dangerous for your health because it simply means that you are running on a deficit okay. you should have said that one since now depending on the weather conditions you know you may have to take way more than three liters for instance you have to take more in a hot weather some of you might have reasons why your doctors have told you to take in fluids liberally liberally that's saying way more than three liters. For example, if you have a fever, or you're vomiting, or you're passing frequent loose or watery stools, or if you have a bladder infection, or a urinary tract infection in general, or urinary tract stones, maybe a stone in the kidney, or stones in your ureter. Your ureter is that conduit pipe-like structure that takes urine from the kidney and delivers it to the bladder. Or maybe you have hemorrhoids, what you commonly know as pie okay, and so on so all of these conditions require you to take more you may also need to take in additional fluids to stay hydrated if you are pregnant or you are breastfeeding oh. yeah, okay. yeah. let me give you another shocker <gasps> the only time some people ever get to take close to three liters of water in a 24 hour period is the time when they are admitted in the hospital uh? when we get to give them IV fluids, intravenous fluids and that's really bad I wonder uh, no you blame me. now let's analyze this together majority of people only take water when they eat so they take about a satay of water when they eat their first meal in the day and for most people that's breakfast and lunch joined together which we call brunch <laughs> okay. Okay. and then they take about another satay of water when they eat dinner and that's another 500 meals. Let's assume, you know, people in that category got thirsty in the course of the day, say during a hot weather, and get another 500 meals of water, often time less. So at the end of that day, the best you have done for that day is that you have taken about 1.5 liters of water. And that's only about half of what you are meant to take as the minimum requirement daily. You see what I'm talking about now? Very soon they're going to call or say you don't faint for room. What you're simply doing is that you are putting a stress on your kidneys amongst other risks. <laughs> the kidney, for instance, acts like a sieve that helps you get rid of waste from the blood. These wastes are constantly being generated from body cells and tissues and are gathered in the blood. And this is why all of the blood in your body has to pass through your kidney you know many times in the day so that it can sieve out the waste that are constantly being generated if you have ever seen where they are sieving raw pap before you will understand this better the fluidier the pap the easier it is to sieve which is why oftentimes in the course of the sieving you get to add water you know the thick pap is difficult to sieve that's a similar thing that happens to your blood when it's passing through the kidneys for sieving you aid this blood flow and this sieving by taking enough water. When the waste product that is sieving through your kidneys are not sieved with a lot of water, you know, that is when it is concentrated, you risk the chance of allowing them to begin to form stones. And this is one reason people develop stones along their urinary tract. I mean, the kidney, the ureter, the bladder, and the lice. Hey, 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 hey. Drinking enough water 
has a lot of other benefits. Water is your body's principal chemical component and makes up to 50 to 70 percent of your body. Your body depends on water to survive. Every cell, tissue, and organ in your body needs water to run properly. Like I said earlier, for the kidneys to get rid of the body waste through urination, it needs a lot of water to do that properly. Not only your kidneys, even your bowels need enough water to get rid of your feces. That's why some people's poo can be stony hard. Why we? And that's why they get to groan so loud. Mm. I'm not in the mood at all. Oh, my God. And you see their eyes popping as if it wants to pop out. On top of us. On top, say you want to empty your bowel. God, have mercy on us. When it's not that you want to deliver a baby, Abby, Abby, you know, little bit, you need to see where some people are defecating. <laughs> and it's that ass stool of yours over time that has led to you developing pie. You know, in our world, we call that hemorrhoid. Your anus are now beginning to protrude occasionally when you defecate. And then once in a while, you begin to see blood in your stool. Oh, I was suspecting. Because your poo is strong, is hard. It doesn't have to be so. Help yourself now. Abba. God will bless you. God will bless you. Lack of water can also lead to dehydration. And even my dehydration can make you drain energy and make you feel so tired. Look, look, look at this. Chai. Just <laughs> How many can I talk about? I mean, how many benefits of taking enough water per day can I talk about? Time will not permit me. The earlier you begin to get it into your head, you sink it into your head that you are water, the better. What? You shouldn't be surprised at that anymore because I already told you that your body is made up of more than 50% water. And if you are that much water by composition, then you had better give yourself enough of it so that you can function properly. Try it and see the difference you begin to feel in your body. Oh. Yeah, okay. Now, here is the thing. When it comes to taking enough water each day, the key word here is intentional. You've got to be very intentional about it. You don't leave it to chance. Because you can be there drinking water and assuming you are taking enough, whereas you are not. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh. Enough of the theories. Three liters of water in real life means two big 150cl bottles. The big ones, two of it. It also means four smaller bottles of water, 75 cl. That's a 5 cl bottle, four of it. Or six sachet of water. What you call pure water. I hope it's really pure. Uh. So don't forget, you should take more than this. So you can gather those and put them in a corner in your house. So you can see and monitor how far you are going per time. Until you measure the water and monitor how much you are taking per time. You may never really get to take enough as you should per day. Many of you do office works, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. I'm a very busy person. And you get so busy at work that you don't even remember taking water at all. Some even feel thirsty at work, but they have learned over the years to ignore their test reflex. Something that God put there to help your life. <laughs> now, this has to stop. This has to change. You can't keep living on like this. It's no crime if you take water bottles to work. If you take two of 75 mils bottle to work, for instance, you can be sure that you have taken half of your daily minimum requirement even at work. Take away unnecessary burdens and stress from your kidneys. Help your kidneys stay and last longer. Take enough water per day. God will bless you. God will bless you. Amen. Amen. And don't forget to, for Papa. Ah. <laughs> Join me in this campaign by liking this video and clicking on the share link. You can share this video with everyone in your circle because everyone needs to hear this. Just click on the share link and share on your socials. Subscribe to my YouTube channel at Dr. Edgy if you are yet to do so. Remember, your health comes first. Kindly join first. in this campaign. Like and share this video. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Hashtag water is life. Hashtag drink enough. Yours faithfully, Dr. Health Geek.